Hey everybody, it's Crystalline Compton. I'm sorry this is so high. How are you doing? Hello. Um, I'm using a selfie stick, and that's because all my gear is at the other house, and all I have is a selfie stick and a mic, and I'm holding it, and it's going to sway a little, and I'm sorry. But thank you anyway for being with me here today, because we actually have something pretty important to talk about. But before we get into it, I just want to say, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love if you drop down, hit that subscribe button. Let's stay connected. I am committed to putting out spiritual information of high value for free here on the internet. And to that end, I want to thank all of my patrons on Patreon who are co-creating this work and this message and allowing me to do what it is that I, I came here to do. It's through you and your support, whether that's monetary or not, that um, I'm emboldened and empowered and able to be here with you right now. So thank you, each and every one of you. I also want to mention that at the end of this month, in April 2018, I am putting on a class called Channeling Angels, where we're going to talk about archangels, archangel lineage. We're going to talk about how to communicate with angels and in particular how to channel them. So if you're interested in that, then drop down into the description. There's a link and you can check it out and register today. There is always room for you. So what are we going to talk about in today's video? Well, what I want to talk about is one of my favorite things to talk about because I get this question probably more than any other question. I'm up often in my spiritual community, the Lightworkers Lab. I give classes, I give intuitive feedback and things of that nature. And one of the questions I get the most, hands down, is, Crystal, what is my life purpose? Crystal, I know I'm here to do something, but I don't know what that is. And I really want to get started. I feel like I'm wasting time, but I don't know what to do. I don't know where to begin. So, Crystal, what am I here to do? Tell me. I actually really love getting this question because it allows me to shift the responsibility from me back onto the person asking that question because we should really never be looking to somebody outside of ourselves to tell us what we're supposed to be doing with our whole life. That's not for anybody to tell us. That's not for your mama to tell you. It's not for your daddy to tell you. They might have plans for you, right? To be a lawyer or a doctor, but maybe you came here to be a singer. That's for you to know and that's for you to occupy. It's not for your boss to tell you who it is that you are, what you should do or what you should create. It's not for your company to do. That's for you to discover for yourself and that's really for you to align to energetically. And aligning is exactly what it is. Within each and every one of us is something called a soul blueprint. A blueprint, and it's kind of like a map. And on this map are various destinations, various experiences, all sorts of connections, networking opportunities, conditions, like everything that we came here to experience in this life is contained in this blueprint. We made plans for ourselves as a soul. Of course we did. The only reason we come into a life is to experience that life fully. And this includes not just joy and love and happiness, but it includes pain and sometimes sickness and suffering and even abuse because all of that is experience. And the soul, you see, seeks to experience because to experience is to evolve. And the soul, the I am, seeks to experience itself just as creator sought to experience itself and in doing so created creation. We have the same urge within us because we were made in source's image. Indeed, yes, we were. And so we're here to learn. We're here to create. We're here to experience on all sorts of different levels. And we're here, no doubt about it, to do a certain quality of work. The reason people tend to be attracted to me and my work is because dog barking, excuse me, is because they are what we call light workers. They are people who came into this world to, to do all those things we just talked about, experience on all those levels, but also to help to shift the planet, to help shift 
consciousness to help shift the vibration the frequency of this dimension because that's what we're in the middle of right now we're in this 3d reality but we are on the outer limits we are approaching the boundary lines of 3d reality entering into a higher dimension higher of course being a subjective and a linear term which does not apply but we are trending toward new understanding a subtler type of energy and we are shifting and so people who came to the planet now who are light workers they feel that inside of themselves they know that they're here to help that process in some way maybe through being a healer maybe through writing a very important book maybe through channeling maybe through just charitable acts or maybe through just being the light and shining that light in small and big ways in their life but they know that they're here to do something and this is why i get that question so very often because people no. However, the blueprint is not in my heart. Your blueprint is not in my heart. Your plans is not in my heart. Your goals, your work is not in my heart. As an intuitive, I can look into that and I can give you some insight about that. But all that information is right within you. You are the one who gets to unpack all of that. You are the one who gets to discover that about you. And make no mistake, when you're on the wrong track in life, when you are not doing your work, when you are not in alignment with really what you came here to do or with your life mission, your whole life reflects that. It shows up in every single area and not the least of which is your body. Like you're uncomfortable in your life because you're an accountant and you're supposed to be a Reiki master because you're a claims adjuster and you're supposed to be on the internet motivating people. You're not doing what you came here to do and so there's always going to be tension to some degree in the mind, body, and spirit. And this tension is just a reminder. It's a beacon. It's asking you to pay attention to it. Why are you tense? Why are you uncomfortable? What do you need to pay attention to? What do you need to align back to? Now, here's how you can align back to your life purpose. Here's how you can find out your life mission right now. First thing to do is forget about what it looks like. That does not matter. It does not matter if your mission is to be a Reiki master and what that looks like and all the certifications you might need to take and all the people you might need to know and all places you might need to go. It's not about knowing what it looks like. It's about flowing into the position of it. It truly is. It's about flowing with your life, following the energy, or as Joseph Campbell said, following the bliss until the path rises up to meet you. That's how it works. And we can all do that right now. Verily I say unto you, right now you can flow to your path. You don't, ha you don't have to know what it is. If you'd have asked me when I was 20, which was just two years ago, how dare you? If you would have asked me when I was 20 what my mission was, well, I would have told you something totally different than what it's turned out to be. And if you would ask me today what my mission is, I would tell you probably something totally different than it will be in 20 years should I live to be that old. <laughs> Sorry, just got a little sidetracked. Damn, that's old. No, but it changes. You know, your life mission does change, but we don't always see what it is that we are becoming. And it's not about what we are going to become. It is really about the becoming. It's about the flowing into it. So how do we do that? Well, that leads us to step number two, which is be the change that you seek to see in the world. Gandhi said it best. This means be the light that is within you. Jesus said it best when he said, don't hide your light under a bushel. Don't Hide your smile away. Don't hide your song away. Wayne Dyer said, don't die with the song still in you. Don't let that happen. You've got to sing it. You've got to be it. Move in the direction of that. The way that we do that is by finding the sources of high vibration that exist for us. High vibration simply means it feels really good. Not in a hedonistic way, but in, a, in an energetic way blissful, joyful, playful, passionate, and loving way. It feels really good. Love is the way that the human being experiences God in our body. That's, 
the closest approximation that we can get to in our experience to feel the energy of God. It's love. That's why the major religions will tell you that God is love because it is true. God is also light. That's another way to say love. And love exists within you because, of course, you were created by God. And that is all within you. The kingdom of heaven lies within you. And so where in your life, I ask you, where's the love? Where's the happiness? Where's the joy? Where's the playfulness? Where's the, where's the skipping around? Where's the hugging the tree? Where's the playing with the dog? Where's the working in your garden? Where are, what are the things that light you up like a Christmas tree, like a mainframe turning on, activating wonder twin powers, activate form of a blissed out light worker? What are those things for you? Those are the questions you need to ask. And again, when we do this, when we ask, well, what are the things that light me up? What are the things that hook me into like a power source, like, a, like an outlet? I'm plugging into high vibration. What are those for me? Let's make sure when we're finding out what they are, that these things are also possible. Because going to Ireland really blisses me out. But it's not possible right now. Do you know what I mean? Being 25 in a size 2 really blisses me out, but that's not possible <laughs> right now. So what is possible? What are the small things that I can do in my day, every day, that connect me to that joy, that playfulness, that happiness? Each and every one of us, we have things that do that. And so the goal of the person seeking to determine and move in the direction of their life purpose is to find the outlet and plug into it, whatever that is to you, whether that's music or writing or gardening or cooking for your family, whether that's dancing, whether that's earthing, whether that's kirtan, whatever it is for you that lights you up and gives you that do that more. It's in many ways more important than meditation. It's in many ways more important than even prayer because it's your body being the prayer. It's your spirit being the prayer because you are commingling your vibration with the vibration of source. You see, the higher the vibration, the closer we are to God. The closer we are to God, the more we become like God. You are all gods. Who said that? Jesus, the Christ. You are all gods. The more we become like God, the more the attributes of God, the characteristics of God begin to populate our life. This is how we change our life. This is how miracles start popping into the life. Doors start opening for us. We start flowing in the direction of our path, our destiny, because we're hanging out, vibrating with source energy by plugging into love and happiness and joy and playfulness. That's all you have to do right now to live your purpose. That's it. And you will magnetically draw the path to you. Again, the path rises up to meet you and leads you along your way. Also, however, to even expedite it further, to really add some momentum, so many birdies, to add some momentum to this is to plug in, fill up, get really high vibration. Ooh, I'm loving this. I'm feeling this. Fill up to capacity. And then go out and go about your daily life. Get in your car, go to the Safeway, get your grocery shopping, but you're doing this. I'm full of love, I'm loving everybody, I'm loving everything. Get into your car, go to work, get in your cubicle and just vibrate. You're filled with love, you're filled with happiness. Don't you know just doing that, sustaining that, changes everything. It recalibrates the space that you're in. It recalibrates the moods of the people around you. It recalibrates your own body. It roots out illness and dissonance and misalignment. It's the key truly to living a miraculous life. Brrr, do that more. How can you do that? How can you plug in and then how can you hold it? And then walk around the planet doing that. If you can manage just to do that, you have fulfilled your life mission, period. And it's simple and everybody can do it. You can be a sanitation worker and do that and you are changing the world. You can be a president of a country and do that and change the entire world. And so something so simple seems that it should also be easy, <laughs> but it's not easy, is it? 
it's not easy because we get caught up in expectations. Expectations being the root of all suffering because when we expect our life to be a certain way, when we expect our relationships to be a certain way, when we expect us to perform or to be a certain way, well, what happens when that doesn't work out the way we were expecting? We get bummed. We get unhappy. We feel like a failure. We feel like life's not working for us. As light workers, we're often hooked into the expectation of what that light work ought to be. We ought to be performing our light work at a certain level. That's nonsense. All you have to do is be the light. You can do that. All you have to do is be the light in your family. All you have to do is be the light in your marriage. All you have to do is go to Starbucks and be the light and change people. And you will be living your purpose. And incidentally, when you're high vibration, you're drawing in the attributes of source, those doors are opening, and very quickly you will find out what you're here to do. Very quickly you'll see, oh, aha, I'm not supposed to be an accountant. I'm here to be a disruptor in this industry. I'm here to work in permaculture or sustainable farmer. I'm farming. I'm here to be a motivational speaker. Very quickly, if you learn to make this a practice, you will know what you are here to do and you will flow into the direction of that. You will flow in the direction of that and into that. And don't be surprised again if it changes as you go along. Of course, it's evolving. Your blueprint, your, your mission, it's evolving just as your soul is evolving, just as humanity is evolving, just as possibly creator is evolving. Let's not get too existential here, but possibly. We're all evolving. And if you hit, if you flow and then you hit these different phases in your life mission and you occupy that mission, well, then new doors are going to open and you go even higher. It gets even bigger. It gets even bolder, but it all starts with that first step. It all starts with plugging into your personal power source. So what is that for you, my friend? Find that, plug in, and you are well on your way to finding your life purpose. That is your life purpose.